what is up you guys my name is woody and i'm back with another video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to find us based suppliers for your drop shipping business for those of you guys that are in the drop shipping industry as you all know that with drop shipping you're not buying the product up front which means that you can't really see what the customer is getting so it's very important to work with a trustworthy suppliers which means that having good customers feedback having a good shipping time which is really really important and also having a good return policy do recommend you guys watch this video to the end because i'm going to be giving you guys three main suppliers that i have personally used in my drop shipping business and yes they have great return policy great shipping time and even great customers feedback I do apologize if you guys can hear this annoying sound in my background you know i just wanted to come out here and have some good time and this beautiful park with this beautiful weather and just enjoy my life but with that being said guys um please smash the like button subscribe and also hit the notification button so you guys can stay up to date with my latest without further ado let's get to it so here we are guys inside of my computer and the website that we're going to be using to find suppliers for our drop shipping business is skillgrid what skillgrid does is is a repricing tool so basically it reprices your item from your supplier onto your store so let's say your supplier changed the price of um the product skillgrid will automatically update that into your store as well so let's see monitors your listing at multiple marketplaces with global reach. over 800 plus supplier sources are supported allow you to track and price your item on over 20 different selling marketplaces so these are the marketplaces that they supported you know like um amazon ebay shopify all of these different marketplaces and even walmart and i know most of you guys might be wondering like why is walmart a marketplace you know well over the past years walmart has allowed people to create an account and start selling on their platform so even though walmart is a supplier is also a marketplace as well but for the sake of this video the purpose of this video is to find suppliers for our drop shipping business so if you go back up top and you just click on the dashboard right here is going to take you right inside of of your account with skill grid the thing is in, in order for you to get to this um position right here you'd have to create an account with skill grid i believe they have like a seven days free trial and once it's over you're basically going to have to be paying like 14.99 a month which is definitely worth it for what this website can do for you and inside of your drop shipping business so if you come here on the i believe let's see on the left side and you know just click supplier and i believe they have like suppliers from you know mostly all over the world like south africa united states united kingdom and you know a lot a lot a lot of other countries now for the sake of this video we're going to be covering only the u.s if anybody outside outside of the u.s are watching this video um you can just leave me a comment and then you know i'd see if i can try to make a video about it just um talking about your specific countries as a disclaimer i have not used all of these different suppliers personally i'm just going to be showing you guys the the steps that i take when better not new suppliers for my drop shipping business so if you just come here down the list and you're just going to be you just want to be scrolling down to you know find a like a a name that actually grabs your attention and and see if you can just um just click on the link or or something let's see um let's choose it bum, 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 bum. i guess let's go for haber fright once you land on the suppliers website you should look for a drop down bar menu if it's not up here then just scroll all the way down to the footer section and like i said the main thing the main three things you should be looking for when whether or not there's new suppliers is good customer service um good shipping policy and also good return policy 
So, you know, right off the bat, I can see that they have a lot of social proof, which is great. And, you know, they also have, you know, contact us and, you know, um, customer service and stuff like that, which is really good because, you know, let's say, for example, there's a delay on the product and it's not arriving when, uh, when expected it. And the customer reach out to you and saying, hey, where's my item and stuff like that. So you can just come back here to your suppliers and, and, and contact them and, and, and ask them what's going on. Now, the second thing you want to be looking for is shipping and, and shipping time, you know. So let's see. Okay, so delivery time. Delivery time are estimated, not guaranteed. Every effort will be made to ship as soon as possible. Well, we all know that with this pandemic going on around the world right now, um, shipping kind of a bit slow. But, you know, I'm looking for the estimated delivery. Okay, so there it is right there. So flat shipping rate is five to seven business days and express shipping is like two to four business days. However, you know, whenever they offer you express shipping, you know, they're going to be charging you for, which is okay. You know, it depends on however you want to run the business, how fast you want to get the product to the customers. You know, if the customer want, you know, express shipping, then you just have to make them pay extra on it. So their shipping rate is, you know, six ninety nine. Their flat shipping, you know, which means their minimum shipping on their product. Okay, so they have good shipping, and you know, let's look for their um, return policy. Let's see if they have that. Uh, okay, here it is, return policy. Um, okay, if for any reason you're not satisfied with an item purchased from Hable Fight, so you may return the product within ninety days. Wow, that's great. So basically, you have up to 90 days to return the product to the supplier. But let's look to see if they uh, is are they are they giving free return or whatnot. Um, so the thing, the process that I usually go for is let's say there's some supplies that offers free return. There's some that doesn't. So how how do you, how do you want to go about this? So let's say you you was using the suppliers um to sell products, right? And they don't they don't talk about it here. They don't offer free return. What you can do is like um you can give the customers like up to 30 days return, but you don't put free 30 days return because I be seeing most people they put free 30 days or 90 days return in their description. And now once the customer wants to return the product and, and you know, their supplies don't allow free return and they just don't know what to do or whatever. And they get bad customers rates and, and stuff like that, which can be a headache sometimes. So let, let, let's just test some product from the suppliers and, and to see if, if their product is selling to the market. You know, right off the bat, I can see that this supplier is, is in the home improvement tools industry. So, you know, these are, um, that's, that's basically for like, let's say you want to fo focus on a specific niche. You know, you like to sell, I don't know, um, home improvement products, you know, whatever niche that you want to be focusing on, you can just go, go about it and better out these different suppliers. So let's see, um, you know, let's just find a product from the suppliers and, and, and go trying to see if it's selling into the market. Um, you know, they have some car jacks and jack stand. Let's see. Like I said, it's the same step that you use with every supplier, you know, when trying to see if their product is selling to the market. Just copy the title and then, you know, go into eBay to see how well it's selling. Okay, so you just have to paste it, paste it. Oops, seems like, oh my God. Wow, this product is selling pretty well. Mm, okay. Well, I'm not even, you know, you guys might think that I have done this before I even started doing the video. You know, I've, I haven't, so let, let's just go right back out and, and see if we could find a, an, another random product. You know, let's see here. 
So um, let's just get this product right here. You know, once you, you know, the more you do this, you know, the better you get at it. You know what I mean? Like I've been doing this for, you know, almost two years now. So I, I kind of pretty much know all the stuff. And boom, like I said, see this, this product is not really selling as well as the previous one was, but you know, sometimes eBay doesn't really tell you when the product is selling. So you can just come down here and look on the left side and just click sold items and you know boom this product has sold you know pretty recently you know it's, it's not selling as as well as other products but it, it sold it has sold once or twice so yeah these these are the, these are the steps that i usually take when very not new suppliers and stuff like that so you know if we go about it we're back on skill grid and then you know we just click the link and they open the suppliers um you know this for the girly girly who want to be in the fashion fashion industry you know you can just go about it you know find what you should like return policy um shipping time and stuff like that so you know yeah these are the steps that i usually take it's not it's, it's not so difficult but it's, it's kind of time consuming once you're doing pretty much everything by yourself but once you have like virtual assistant doing it for you or you teach your virtual virtual assistant how to do it for you um you know life will be a lot easier i promise you that so i did tell you guys that i was gonna give you three of my main suppliers so you know why not they just do it so walmart is one of the main suppliers that i have been using since i started doing drop shipping well i've had i can say that i've had more good than bad with walmart over the years um, i would say the only cons with walmart is that let's say on the smaller item so item from like one to 15 bucks they literally be having like DoorDash or Postmate delivering those items to the customer, which is not a good thing. You know, they be having like same day delivery with, you know, Postmate and DoorDash, which is not a good thing because um, you don't even get to upload the tracking. And at the same time, it kind of looks scammy, you know, having the item delivered to the customers on the same day, like literally hours after they make the, the, the purchase. So, you know, these are the only, you know, cons with Walmart, but you know, I, if you if you guys using Walmart, I would recommend go about like heavier item, things that's like, you know, you know, like high tickets item and stuff like that. Because those I those type of item they definitely they definitely cannot um ship through DoorDash or Postmate. And the second supply that I mainly use is um Home Depot. You know, Home Depot is a great website. You know, they have a lot of good, um, great product, I should say. You know, they but they mostly focus on like um, the home improvement tools and et cetera, stuff like that. Home tools, you know, like um, garden stuff, um, and all those kinds of good product. You know, you should, you guys should definitely um, check out Home Depot because I believe they have you know free return for the, on most of their product. And they have free return, good customer service, and also great shipping policy, you know? So um, I definitely recommend Home Depot. And last but not least is Costway. Costway is a Chinese website, but um, they have their warehouse in the U.S., which is great. You know, they have very, very fast shipping time. I believe they only use USPS. No, not. I mean, I meant to say UPS. Yes, they only use UPS, which is a, a very, very fast carrier. And the best thing about Costway is that they literally offer free shipping on everything. You know, no matter, no matter what kinds of product you're buying from them, it's literally free shipping. You know, so that's um that's that's um one of the reason why i love Costway. so mm, it's recording i didn't even see that 
So these are the steps that I recommend you guys take when vetting out new suppliers for your drop shipping business. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, subscribe, and also hit the notification button so you guys can stay up to date with my latest. So, you know, I'll just see you guys in the next one.